to see half the world by Edward Fry. Most people who go to places like Florida or California see only half the world. They see the half above the water. To see the other half, you must learn to snorkel. First, you have to learn to swim. It also helps to know how to float so you can rest. If you learn to float in a lake or in a swimming pool, you will easily float in the ocean because salt water holds you up better. To snorkel, the only things you must have are a face mask and a snorkel tube. A snorkel tube is a short curved piece of plastic or rubber tubing that you put in your mouth so you can breathe while floating on your stomach. A face mask covers your eyes and nose. You can see well under the water unless your eyes are protected. Now, to see the other half of the world underwater, all you have to do is float face down with your face mask on. To breathe, just put the mouthpiece of the snorkel in your mouth. The other end of the tube will be in the air behind your head. For some reason, this is scary for a lot of people. So, in the beginning, try snorkeling in the shallow water where you can stand up if you get nervous. After a little while, you will get used to breathing through your mouth while floating. If a small wave should wash over the top of your snorkel tube, a little water may come down the tube. Just stop breathing for a moment and give a good hard blow. The water and air will come flying out of the tube and you will look like a whale. While you are floating with your face mask on, you will notice that you can see the bottom and anything, plants, animals, or junks floating in the water. If you drop money or your watch in the water, a face mask will help you find it. If there are any fish or interesting shells, you will see them too. Pretty soon you will get tired of floating in one spot and will want to see more. You can swim without even raising your head. The breaststroke works just fine while floating with your, while your snorkel and your face mask are on. Or you can just kick your legs and you will move. If you want to get somewhere fast, put some swim fins on your feet and you will be really ready to travel. After a little while, you may get tired of just looking at the sandy bottom. You will probably want to see some more interesting marine life. To see these plants and animals, you need to be near rocks or seaweed. Single fish or schools of fish do show up almost anywhere in the ocean, but your chances of seeing them are low. In warmer water, like that in Florida, California, or Mexico, there are almost always some fish near rocks, seaweed, or sunken boats. Just looking at the rocks and seaweed under the water can be a whole new seeing experience. Now you are seeing the half of the world that most people never see.